Hi everybody, welcome to another segment of an unscripted moment. Tonight I want to read something very briefly. Okay. This is something, it's it's just one paragraph from a document that everybody should be familiar with, but sadly, I believe many are not. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. So, okay, so, first of all, it says that these truths, which are self-evident, that all men are created equal, are endowed by their creator, God. That means these rights came from God. They were given to us, to man, by God. And that they're unalienable, unalienable, which means they cannot be taken away. They're unalienable. They cannot be alienated from us. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. What does that mean? That means that in order to secure these rights, we form a government. That government works for us. It gets its power from us, from the consent of the governed. We are the governed. We elect them. We live in a free enterprise system, a capitalistic system, not a socialistic system. Right? So, what does that mean? That means if my neighbor works 100 hours a week and makes a million dollars a year and I don't work at all, I just have a paper route and I sleep till 3 every day in the afternoon, then he's going to be rich and I'm going to be poor. And that's the way it is. There is never supposed to be any expectation on my part that I'm going to be in any way, shape, or form entitled to any part of his wealth, any part of what he works for. That's his. We have what we produce. If I sleep till three every day and produce nothing, I have nothing. If he works a hundred hours a week and produces a million dollars a year, that's his. Nobody is entitled to any of that. And sadly, we're moving away from that in this country. We have a large population of people who want to expand social, you know, want to expand social services and entitlement programs. They want the people that are producing to pay for the people that don't produce and they're taking it through our taxes and everything else and that's not the way this system was designed to work that's not the way this country was designed to work if you know, congress and the people that work for the government they're supposed to work for us they're supposed to you know they get their powers from the consent of the governed as it states in the declaration of independence but that doesn't seem to work that way anymore you know, these people, these congressmen, they produce nothing. The Senate, they produce nothing. And yet, they get paid very handsomely. They get benefits for the rest of their lives. For what? What are they producing? What market are they in? What market are they working in? Are they selling or manufacturing goods? No, they're not. They're parasites on the working man. They tax us excessively, and then, then they turn around and they try to tell us how we should be able to spend the remainder of what's left over. 
And they have their hand in every aspect of our lives. You know, the First Amendment, they're trying to strip us of First Amendment rights. They're trying to strip us of Second Amendment rights. Obviously, they have been very successful in that department. Here in the communist state of Connecticut, they're very successful in that. And, you know, a hundred years ago, you didn't need a permit to carry a sidearm or a rifle. You could travel across straight state lines. There was no paperwork involved. You didn't need any special permission. You didn't have to pay so many hundreds of dollars every year or every five years or whatever it is to have a permit to carry that gun. Those were rights that were endowed by your creator and guess what back then they truly were inalienable but they've become alienable because they've alienated us from them because now we don't have those rights anymore and maybe we hold on to some shred or some sliver of it but it's slowly disappearing and that's just the tip of the iceberg it's not only the second amendment it's not only the first amendment you know many parts of this country you're not allowed to collect rainwater. Many parts of this country, it's illegal to go off grid. If you own property and you own your house, why can't you go off grid? Why can't you just operate on solar power if you wanted to? Why is it illegal not to have power if it goes by your street? It's just another way to separate you from your hard earned dollar. These are decisions every man should be able to make for himself. Instead, the government gets involved. They, they're involved in education. Look how that turned out. Look at the public education system in this country. I, 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 there's not even enough time in my week to get in, down, go down that road. It's fundamentally and extensively broken at its core. And it's hemorrhaging billions of dollars a year across the country. We're, we're paying through our tax dollars billions of dollars a year for a system that does not work and cannot work the way that it's structured. And yet, this is what, this is what we have. This is what we're forced to have. If you, you can homeschool your kids, and you know what, kudos to those of you that do. That is outstanding, that is an outstanding option. And I think, you know, I commend everybody that does it. But if you pull your kids out of the public school system, and you homeschool them, you should be able to get a tax reduction. You're no longer, you should no longer have to pay for the public's education system because you're not part of it and you're not availing yourselves of it you're not sending your kids there and I know that's a you know that's an old argument because like people that don't have kids or that are retired and older and their kids are grown still pay into that system too so it's you know but that's again part of the fundamental breaking of it because it's costing so much money. You know, I can look at the town we live in. There's, what, 49,000 people, roughly, I think. Last time I knew, I, I looked or knew there was like 49,000 people, 45,000 to 49,000 people. The edu public education system consists of four, four elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school. It's $72 million a year is their budget. And then the kids that graduate, they work at McDonald's, they can't even get your iced tea order right. You know, true story. I mean, I go there five days in a row a few years back. I worked up near there and I didn't have enough time to come home and I enjoy the unsweetened iced tea. So I go through the drive-thru five days in a row. My order is large unsweetened iced tea with lemon and one sweetened law. All five days it was wrong. One day it didn't have lemon. One day they gave me sweet tea. One day they put sugar and not sweetened law. It's like 
I'm not ordering $30 worth of food, I'm ordering one thing, it's an iced tea. Why? You know why? Because all those kids were in the public school system six months ago, or a year ago, or two years ago. That's why. That's why there's no, no more such thing as customer service anywhere. That's why you talk to these knuckleheads on the phone and you think you feel like you know you're calling a company and trying to get answers. You feel like they're not hearing you. Like they can't communicate. They you know, I don't that's like a whole different thing. I don't even I mean I gotta digress because I'm going down a road I don't want to go down. The government is too inclusive in our lives. It's everywhere in our lives. They have abused and overextended their powers on us and clearly that is not the way it was set up. Yet that's the way it is. It's wrong and it needs to change. There needs to be a fundamental change. And <clears throat> There's a number of ways, maybe, that we can do it. Certain people have different ideas about things to do, disconnect from the system. You know, I don't know what the answers are, but something has to change. Thank you for watching An Unscripted Moment. God bless you.